highly targeted uh, for traffic and audiences. You only pay for clicks or views. Uh, you can control, you have control of budget and scheduling. It's highly customizable and it's fast with measurable results. So next we will look at the Google channels available and understanding them. So Google has a variety of different channels available to use when advertising. These are search, display, remarketing, video and shopping. And we are um, an agency that is a Google partner specialist in all of these different channels. So looking at the search network first, the search network has billions of um, searches per day on Google. Uh, search ads make sure potential customers notice your brand, consider your offering and take action. Google search network are ads, text ads that appear next to Google, search, Google organic search results and on Google partner sites. When people search for terms that are relevant to the campaign keywords, text ads are focused on getting people to take an action such as clicking your ad or calling your business showing ads to people actively looking for information. Search ads create immediate exposure, generating clicks, traffic and conversions specific to your re related products or services. And a daily budget is recommended in order to best compete on bids and keywords against your competitors. So when someone is initial, um, initially looking for a product or service, they are more likely to find your your ad helpful and click on it. So uh, the display campaigns focus more on brand awareness, visibility and engagement. The Google Display Network can help you reach people while they're browsing their favourite websites, promoting your business to relevant audiences, reaching 90% of internet, internet users worldwide. The Google Display Network allows you to connect with customers with a variety of ad formats across the digital universe. The Display Network helps you capture someone's attention earlier in the buying cycle. It can reach people when they're browsing their favourite websites while viewing YouTube videos, checking a Gmail account or using mobile sites and apps. It's designed to help you find the right audience across millions of websites, putting your message in front of potential customers. You can reach users by interests, topics, demographics and custom audiences. Select where your ads appear with manual placements, which are specific websites, as well as audiences. You can meet your advertising goals by promoting your brand, generating product awareness and increasing sales and leads. The display network is designed to help you find the right audience with targeting options that you strategically show your message to um, potential customers at the right place and at the right time. So the Google Remarketing Network, so remarketing will help you build leads and sales by bringing previous visitors back to your website to complete what they have started. So when people leave your website without buying anything or getting in touch, remarketing helps you reconnect with them, showing relevant ads across their different devices. You can reach users by custom, custom created audience and similar audiences such as non-converters, engaged visitors and previous converters. Remarketing can reach people while they're browsing their favourite websites, uh, whilst viewing a YouTube video, checking a Gmail account or using mobile sites and apps, bringing them back to complete an action. So there are different ways to remarket with Google Ads. You've got the standard remarketing, which shows ads to past vis visitors as they browse the display network. Dynamic remarketing, uh, which takes remarketing to the next level with ads that include products and services that people viewed. Uh, remarketing lists for search ads or RLSA um, show ads to past visitors as they do follow up searches for what they need on Google. Video remarketing shows ads to people who have interacted with your videos on YouTube channel as they, uh, or, um, as they use YouTube or as they browse the display network. Email list remarketing, where with customer match, you can re remarket to a list of email addresses. When these customers are signed into Google, your ads will then show. So the Google Shopping Network. So if you're a retailer, a shopping campaign campaign will promote your online inventory, boost traffic to your website and drive better qualified prospects. 
Shopping campaigns help you promote your products online, giving users detailed information about what you're selling before they even click your ad. Shopping network campaigns allow retailers to promote their online and local inventory, boost traffic to the website or, or local store and find better qualified leads. Shopping ads or product listing ads show users images of your product, plus a title, the price, the store name and much more. Uh, product listing ads can appear across Google Shopping and select countries, Google Search next to search results, um, separate from text ads and Google Search partner websites, including YouTube and image, image search in some countries. Uh, shopping ads use product data from your site through something we call a product feed. This product feed is uploaded into another Google platform called Merchant Center and can then be used to target, target your ads. Um, using keywords within the product titles and descriptions, shopping ads are targeted to customers that are already searching for the types of products you and your client ads are selling. Uh, so since September 2020, Google has introduced free shopping listings. These are shown alongside pay, li pay listings within the shopping tab on Google. Finally, we have video advertising via YouTube which is the perfect way to put videos of your brand, products and services directly in the cases of target demographic. For 1 billion users, we can target customers based on age, gender, location, interests, and more. So video network can uh, let you show video ads within other streaming video content on YouTube and across the Google Display Network. You can create compelling video campaigns with a range of video ad formats to engage customers in different ways on YouTube and across video partner sites. Video ads are shown only to people you want and you only pay when they watch. Um, you can reach users by their interests, demographics, topics, custom audiences and remarketing. It's win-win. You don't need to pay when your ad is skipped. Customise, experiment with different formats and different video lengths. If designed clever, cleverly, the video can, could include your brand in the first few seconds of the video. So even if it's skipped, this results in free brand awareness. So uh, next we'll look at, we'll look over some of the key metrics for PPC campaigns and explain what they are. So we have clicks. Um, clicks are the number of clicks your ad received by the number of times it was seen. This metric is a key indicator of how effective your ad copy is and how appealing, relevant and helpful your ad was to the user. To the user sorry, excuse me. Impressions um, are how often your ad is shown. An impression is counted each time your ad is shown on a search result page or other sites on the Google network. Click through rate or CTR, uh, the number of clicks your ad received divided by the number of times it was seen. This metric is a key indicator on how effective your ad copy is and how appealing, relevant, and helpful your ad was to the, to the user. Cost per click, or CPC, is the average amount spent for each click. This metric is calculated based on multiple factors which affect the ad auction, including competition and quality score. <clears throat> Got conversions, is an action that's counted within someone's uh, so counted when someone interacts with your ad. So, for example, clicks a text ad or views a video ad and then takes an action that you've defined as valuable to your business, such as an online purchase or a call to your business from a mobile phone or um, filling in a contact form. So cost per conversion or cost per acquisition um, is the total cost of conversions divided by the number of the total number of conversions. This metric allows you to see how much you're paying for each of your conversions, allowing you to assess the cost effectiveness of your ads. Uh, conversion rate um, is the average number of conversions per ad interaction shown as a percentage. So conversion rates are calculated by simply taking the number of conversions and dividing that by the number of total ad interactions or clicks. Impression share is the number of impressions your ads have received divided by the estimated number of impressions you are eligible to receive. So quality score um, is an estimate of the quality of your ads, keywords and landing pages. Higher quality ads can lead to lower prices and better ad positions or higher impression shares. 
costs. So your costs may vary from day to day, but you won't be charged more than your maximum monthly budget. Your payment settings show when you pay and payment methods show what you pay with. Um, basically, cost is how much you, you spend per day on, your, on each campaign um, for your sort of daily budget. So return on ad spend or ROAS for short is the average conversion value you receive in return for every pound you spend on your ads. The target ROAS bidding strategy focuses on driving the highest value of conversions rather than the most, the, the, the most amount of conversions. And then we've got conversion value, which is a numerical value that you assign to a specific conversion in order to, in order to represent um, the impact to your business. Okay. Um, and then we've got purpose of PPC and the customer journey. Uh, so um, something that's very important with PPC is, is your customer journey. So we'll be going through and having a look at that. So here you can see each network within Google and social digital platforms plays a role when converting your customers. Um, customer journeys can be long with multiple touch points. Each network plays a part in converting your customer. Brand awareness and remarketing are key, along with acquisition. Um, think about your customer journey and the steps that uh, you will take to purchase. Consider the last time you made a purchase or you registered for information online. How many steps did it take you to get there? How many channels did you go through? Which channel did, fi did, uh, did you finally convert on and how long did it take you? So each panel pl channel plays an important role and works together in a customer journey. I mean, this um, diagram looks quite complicated, but I'll just work through it with you here. You've got obviously display, social and video, which are more of your brand awareness campaigns up here. And they could then lead to um, people seeing an ad, uh, seeing an image ad and going on to Google search and Googling you um, and then coming down to convert. They may not convert, by doing this, so they may need to be directed into the remote, uh, some remarketing ads to bring them back to search and to convert. Or they might actually come back through another channel, organic or direct, and then convert, which we'll be calling assisted conversions. So the purpose and the role of each PPC channel as mentioned, each channel obviously has an important role and purpose to play when it comes to customer journeys. Here we have what we call a customer purchase funnel, illustrating the, the theoretical customer journey toward a purchase or lead. So first we have awareness, which is at the top of the funnel. This is a, the largest part of the funnel, as it will engage a larger audiences that we are yet to know about, that are yet to know about your offering, or may only know a little about it. So that's brand awareness. So you're looking at display, video, social and search channels. Interest, uh, still toward the top of the funnel, draws in potential customers who are actively showing an interest in your offering. So again, you would look at display, video, social and search for this. Consideration is toward the middle of the funnel. It's smaller, it's a bit smaller here as you filtered out the un, sort of uninterested parties. Um, so it draws customers who are seriously considering your offer. Um, here you would have display, video, social search and remarketing. Next we have intent. So intent draws customers that are actively seeking your brand or your offering or your products. This is when customers will actively search for what you're looking for. Uh, so this is search, social, remarketing and shopping. Evaluation um, is when customers have found what they're looking for, but have not completely finished in their purchase funnel. Maybe they need that extra push. Remarketing and Gmail come in very handy here as well. So, and then you've got sale, uh, which is obviously when the customer has reached the end of the purchase funnel and bought, bought or registered for the product or lead. Um, what you can also do to increase loyalty and repeat custom, um, you can use remarketing again here um, and target customers who have converted already. Okay. So when can PPC go wrong? So I'd like to go through now when PPC can go wrong and what uh, what caused these ads or campaigns to go wrong. 
So as previously mentioned, mentioned text ads appear in Google search results when someone enters a keyword or search phrase within a search bar. And um, here you can see the search query is bad PPC agency. Uh, we can see uh, uh, then, then see three ads promoting PPC agencies for the search term. As an agency, you don't want to be appearing here for this search term as it can have a quite a bad negative effect on your business. So to avoid this, negative keywords can be added to the account and campaigns. In this instance, the keyword bad would be needed to be added. Once, uh, once added, ads will no longer appear for a search term that has the word bad in the query, thus avoiding your ads showing negative queries such as this. So negative keywords and exclusions is an optimization technique we use across all Google channels. Uh, this uh, allows your campaigns to stay relevant to your audience and avoid any irrelevant clicks that can waste spend. Um, in the platform, uh, Google Ads platform, search term reports will come through and uh, placement reports will come through. So you can actually see what people have searched for and clicked your ad. Um, or what websites they've gone on to and your ads have shown. So you can actually go through and um, add those placements and negative uh, search term queries as negatives um, and exclusions into your campaigns just to make them um, as, as relevant as possible. So here we have a display campaign ad or a display text ad. Um, shown on a news website that is covering a story regarding an emergency plane landing with visible damage to the plane. Um, on the right hand side we can see an ad that is promoting cheap flights to Australia. Um, the placement of the ad is not great for obvious reasons. Um, how to combat this would be to review where your ads are showing through the Google Ads platform and exclude any placements that are irrelevant or potentially dangerous for your brand such as this site or article. Uh, what you have to do is when you have display campaigns running, um, which are showing on a lot of multiple um, websites, is, is make sure you're keeping up to date and checking where those ads are showing so it doesn't harm the brand and it's always relevant to what you're trying to promote. So here we can see um, another search term, which is builder in Cardiff. And on the right hand side, an ad that is promoting 10 best website builders. So this ad, is very, this ad is very irrelevant for the search term entered as clearly the searcher is looking for builders and not a company that can build websites. So this has happened because the company has used broad match keywords within their campaigns. Um, broad match keywords give you less control over searches, um, causing ads to show for searches that are not relevant for your business. So we've got within Google Ads and within the search network, there are four different types of keyword match types. You've got broad match. Uh, broad match is the default match type that all keywords are assigned. Ads may show on searches that include misspellings, related searches and other variations. So if your keyword is women's hats, um, someone searching for buy ladies hats might see your ad or if somebody is searching for women's clothing might see your ad. So negative keywords must then be added to avoid any irrelevance. You've also got broad match modifier, which is the little plus before the keyword. So it's similar to broad match, except the broad match modifier op option only shows ads in searches that include the words that have the plus sign um, added in front of the keyword or a close variant of them. And then we have phrase match, um, ads show on searches that match a phrase or close variation of that phrase with additional words before or after. Ads won't show if a word is added to the middle of the phrase or if the words are reordered. And so you've got a sample there saying women's hats with the um, uh, just at the bottom there. And then we've got exact match. Ads may show on searches um, that match the exact term or a close variant of that exact term. Um, sorry about the noise, if you can hear that. Um, so uh, we actually had a Google update la only last week uh, where broad match, broad match modifier match types are now being combined with phrase match keywords. Um, and will not sort of no longer be available. Um, so Google updates are actually um, happen very regularly. Uh, so it's always important to stay up to date with the new changes and techniques. 
So now what we'll be looking at is having three um, keyword match types rather than four. Um, and that will be um, happening in the next couple of weeks um, across all Google campaigns and Google ad platforms. Okay. Um, and here are just some of uh, my favorite Google PPC text ads that have gone wrong. Uh, these show both headlines and trips of description lines that are not thought out very well. Um, you've got things like uh, new brain, looking for a new brain, eBay. Um, sell your soul on eBay. Um, quality low, Amazon. Um, worthless items for Target. And one of my favourite, which is the Braille Superstore, thousands of Braille products, many of which you've never seen before. Um, so what you need to just make sure is what you write in your ad is very important, both your text and image ads. Um, ads need to be engaging for the searcher, relevant to what they're looking for, make sense and include your most important keywords. And as you can see, even some of the very big brands such as eBay and Amazon still get, can get this wrong. Um, so when PPC can go right, so when PPC can go right, it can not only be rewarding for your sales and your clients, but it can also produce case studies like these and award entries for the many digital marketing awards out there. Um, so first we have a very long styling, standing client of ours. It's a pharmacy client, which we've had to redact um, just due to privacy. Um, so the challenge for this pharmacy, um, so, um, this pharmacy have a pharmacy tradition, tradition dating back to the 1930s with 30, 63 pharmacy stores UK wide. They engage with SEO works to drive new customers to their website and increase online orders. <clears throat> Our solution was to build a high performing Google ads and Google shopping campaign focused on products that would increase uh, ROI for the company. With a detailed bid strategy and custom mobile settings, our Google PPC campaign achieved fantastic results. Um, <clears throat> the results, we increased online conversions by 78.8% using the same media spend. Cost per conversion decreased 45.5% and revenue increased to 3.6 million in 12 months uh, with a return on ad spend of 55 to 1. Okay, next, we have a sport client of ours uh, where we focused on search, shopping, RLSA and remarketing. Um, so this client is one of the largest cricket re retailers in the world who approach the SEO works to increase their online transactions, transaction revenue and return on ad spend. Uh, the solution, um, so sort of their main focus was centered around improving the performance of their shopping campaigns, increasing online conversions and ROAS. We did this by restructuring ad groups and applying correct bid adjustments across all product categories and high performing items, allowing monthly budget to be used more effectively. High performing products and categories were then turned into search campaigns to boost conversions and revenue, adding RLSA and remarketing engagement audiences to reach highly engaged visitors. So the results, we saw a huge increase on online transactions over the first 11 months increased their transaction revenue by 106.6% and increased their return on ad spend to 12 to 1, whilst decreasing monthly budget by 27.3% and increasing transaction revenue. And as you can see, this won quite a few awards um, over, the, over the last couple of years, uh, which was really great to see. Next, we have um, a lead gen client of ours uh, where we focused on campaigns separated across different areas of the UK with Google search, remarketing, display and video. Um, so um, this client offer 24 hour all inclusive residential and dementia care for care homes across the UK. They engage with the SEO works to drive more calls and registrations to their 16 care homes to decrease their cost per acquisition and increased conversion rates. Um, so we restructured a badly performing account. Uh, we were able to create more defined campaigns that targeted the key demographic. We focused heavily on location based marketing, uh, utilizing advertising networks for search, remarketing, display and video allowed us to reach a larger number of potential customers who search in a variety of ways. 
um, continually refining campaigns with careful planned bid adjustments, negative keywords and improved text, image and video ads, increased conversions, conversion rate and reduced conversion cost for all homes. Um, we saw a 100% increase in click through rate and a significant increase in online conversions, all with 42% decrease in ad spend. Um, we've been able to increase conversion rate 339% whilst also reducing their cost per conversion by 76%. So how to get into PPC? If you would like more information or access to any free resources uh, when it comes to paid digital advertising, I've added some links and some information on the next slide. Um, so there are plenty of resources available here. Um, and this, I've just added a sort of selected amount.